the lore that I am about to drop on my childhood. Okay. <laughs> Where do I begin? The footage that I'm about to show you starts around age six and maybe up until age 12. A lot of this footage I've actually never seen until this week when I rediscovered it. It's funny watching this stuff because it makes me realize why I am the way I am today. Let's get into it. For those of you watching this who don't know me or aren't that familiar with me, you guys are probably so confused on what I am even talking about. When I was six, I used to make music videos and I am not talking about video stars. I am talking about full out written and produced songs with videos to match. We are going to be reacting to some of that footage. This is in my backyard on a cross that my dad and I built out of two pieces of wood. And I would just run around the backyard, have my dad film me. Because I had really long hair, which I am growing out my hair now again, because I like the way that that looked. I would walk around my house like with my hair like this, pretending I was from The Grudge, even though I have never seen The Grudge or a scary movie in my life because I do not like scary movies. But I used to be convinced that I would be really good in a horror film. So I'd walk around like this, like scaring my parents and my brother, which now sounds alarming. But <laughs> anyways, that's video one. Video two, okay? We've upgraded to the graveyard near my house. I pout the same exact face. When I am modeling, I give the same serious face that I have been doing since I was a little kid. Like, what? the blue lipstick and the braids, I wear that same cross all the time, the same exact one. But after elementary school, I'm like, hey, Dad, can we go to the graveyard and make a music video? I'm gonna show a photo of my parents for reference because I would say we're all quite interesting. I don't know what I'm writing in this scene, honestly. I like this, this could be a horror film. Okay, moving on. This video is actually a full edited produced music video called Who Am I by Vienna Sky. The lyrics are literally like, I am Vienna Sky. That's it, because I'm six. I don't know how to sing or write. This was filmed in my aunt's house actually. And we just had like a spotlight. And this jacket is so cool that I'm wearing. And again, another cross. I love that motif. This is just a compilation of random instruments that I like barely know how to play. The guitar, I did actually take lessons, so it wasn't that bad, but the violin, I begged my parents to buy me a violin, but then we never got lessons, so I would just, like, pretend to play it, and it never sounded good. But yeah, so this is just, like, some footage that never really made it into any of the videos. But, like, ugh, I was definitely inspired by people like Avril Lavigne with the way that I dress at this age. Unfortunately, I'm not the best singer. So I never really stuck with it that much. If you follow me and you know me now, you know that I do hair looks like this all the time. This is literally where it came from. Like I've always been obsessed with expressing myself through hair, makeup, dance, fashion, and you can really see it in this video. The story of it all is that me and my dad would go to the dollar store and Home Depot and we would just look around our house and buy random supplies so that we could make these movie sets. We would turn any room in our house into some type of set that we could film music videos. This clip, you can really see how my basement is literally a toy room and a playroom for me and my brother. And then we built a mini green screen in the corner of our basement. <laughs> so interesting to look at this footage and see how fun and wacky and self-expressive I was as such a little kid and how none of that has changed. I'm always inspired every day on dressing up cool and doing my hair and makeup in different ways for all the events I go to. But even re-watching this footage, I feel so re-inspired by little me. I'm not getting emotional, but she would be so proud of what I do now because it's literally that, but on a bigger scale. The real reason I went back and looked at this footage was because I was recently in a music video, an actual music video. I was the lead actress in it which has been a goal of mine for some time now. These are some clips from the music video and tell me why they are so reminiscent of my original music videos. I remember the first call with the director, she was walking me through the vision for the video and I got off the call and I sent her this photo and I was like, I am prepared. Like, you don't even know. I am so prepared for this. <laughs> Shout out to my parents for letting me express myself in this way growing up. I'm so blessed that they let me do that and work on all these fun projects. And it makes sense why I am doing what I'm doing. I'm modeling, I'm acting. I attend New York Fashion Week. So I get to dress up like this and I get to walk runways and do all this stuff. And it just makes so much sense that I started the way that I started. In the final video of this, the blue screen is all edited. This was literally built in my garage. It was entirely blue for, I don't know, probably a year. 
I can't even remember how long, but I just remember pulling into the garage every day in my parents' car and it would just be blue. But yeah, these are two girls that I used to dance with. Two things. One, I should do a video recreating this look. And two, the green pieces are like the e-girl look that went viral during COVID. I was onto something. I'm older in this video by a little bit. This is probably when I'm like 11 or 12, I think. I must have been in maybe fifth grade, fourth or fifth grade. This was another video that was in my garage, but a different set. And the, <laughs> all of these leaves were spray painted from the dollar store. There's a bunch of bowls on the floor that we built into like these dome circular things also from the dollar store These are still in my house somewhere. We would use those like red and blue bowls all the time for different sets They're in the other video. I think actually okay My camera's about to die. So we are ending this video. This is so fun to look back on everything I really encourage you if your parents have any footage or even photos of you as a kid It's so fun and nostalgic to look back on I want to start making music videos for other people because unfortunately I just did not stick with the music, but I would love to creative direct something for another musician. So maybe that would be in my goals for next year. Me and my dad actually remastered one of the songs and I put some new lyrics that we recorded this summer because I wanted to re-release a song for my 26th birthday this year, 20 years later from when all of this stuff was originally produced. But um, yeah, so I want to make a music video to go with it. If that is out by the time this video gets uploaded, it will be linked down below. It's a still a work in progress. Let me know if you want more videos like this as well. Because I rarely do sit down videos these days. I just do vlogs. But it's so fun talking to you guys. Check in in the comments. Roll call. Let me know you're here. Say hi. These videos are crazy. I was wacky.